Well, let's venture into our grain markets here and see how they're holding up, shall we? And uh, now that we're in the mid-session, let's take a look at our quotes provided by Bar Chart. First up, corn. July corn down three and three quarter cents at 655 and three quarters, and December down nine and a quarter cents at 537 and a quarter. Now, on the soybean side, we have had quite a bit of pressure at times today. Things are moderating somewhat right now. July soybeans down eight and three quarter cents at 15, 17 and a half, and November down just three and a half at 13.57. I'll stop right here with these feed grains. Um, let's bring in Todd Bubba Horowitz at BubbaTrading.com and talk about this a little bit. Um, you were talking here a while back that maybe you wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a break in the market. Is this the break you were talking about? Good morning, Marlon. Yeah, I think, you know, look, I, I, th I think we're, we're at this stage in the time of year when we're playing, the, we're, we're betting on the weather now. We have, we have something new to play for with and, you know, things look okay. And so you're getting some pressure. We've, we've had a very, very nice, healthy rally. And you assume and expect markets to pull back after you get those types of moves. Now, you know, obviously, I, I'm a big fan of the grain markets, and I think they're going a lot higher. However, in the short term here, I would not be surprised to see some more pressure come to bear because, again, you, you get what, what happens in markets, Marlon, is, is too many get on one side of the boat and it overweights it. And, of course, it has to correct itself, which is, I think, is what we're going through right now. And then I think we'll see, I think the next move, will be bigger and faster than the last one, believe it or not. And I, I do look forward to it. However, at this particular time, we're still a little bit negative uh, all across the board, corn, wheat, and soybeans. Did the funds lighten up on positions last week then? Uh, well, I think they did. I think they sold out. And, uh, you, know, they're, 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 you know, they're always first to kind of panic and, 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 and try to dump and try to time markets, which is – you know, basically a fool's errand, trying to time what's going to happen. So I, I think that they tried to jump out and, of course, created some of this pressure that we're seeing right now. And again, I think we'll find, you know, probably another five, six percent lower on each. And that should probably find us uh, the solid bottoms that will then take us up, I think, to new highs. Let's venture into the wheat market then. And we'll begin with the Chicago wheat. Currently, you have July down 13 and a half cents at 660 and three quarters. Kansas City wheat has July down nine and three quarter cents at 614 and a quarter. And they are really getting after the spring wheat today down 20 and a quarter at 680 and a quarter. Is that type of a sell off warranted at this point here, Todd? Uh, you, well, I, I, I believe, Marlon, that most of the time markets are overdone in either direction. And I don't think it's really warranted suddenly. But again, what happens is we create some panic throughout. And it's not necessarily the farming community. It is the investing community that usually panics out here. As we know, if our farmers, just in nature of the business, have to have a cast iron constitution to begin with. I think you're seeing a lot of the retail investors that figured they were making a quick, easy buck start to blow it out. And I think that's what's causing I think more selling than we should really have right at this moment. A quick look at the cotton market and uh, we'll get into our break. And on the cotton right now on the July contract, we're down 60 points at 82.22 while December is down 55. We'll come back in a moment. We'll talk more with Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com right after this. We are back with you. Now let's delve into our livestock trade today here on a Monday and in the aftermath of the cattle on feed report that we had last Friday. Well, let's see how live cattle are doing so far. We are trading lower led by the nearby contracts and they are showing triple digit losses right now. The June live cattle are in there at 116.60 per hundredweight. That's only a dime from our low of the day. And the August down a dollar two at 119.90. And that's about, uh, oh, we'll call it 42 cents off of its low of the day. Well, let's take a look at what's going on now with our feeder cattle market. And so far today, we have that July contract, excuse me, the August contract, a nickel higher at 153.75 and September is up 27 at 155.17. So slight gains. They're off of their earlier highs by roughly 70 cents in that August contract. Now in the lean hog market, 
Lean hogs are really giving back about, oh, a third, uh, 40% of what we had gained last week. We have July lean hogs now down $1.22 at $115.30 right now. So uh, kind of a little backward momentum in the lean hog trade. Uh, let's talk with Todd Bubba Horowitz about the livestock situation here. It's going to be a big, big grilling week coming up next week. And I fully intend to uh, participate in that, Todd. Um, what about the overall demand here? Can it get any better on the demand for the beef and the pork? It, it just seems like we have that bottleneck at the at the packer locations right now, where we cannot squeeze enough animals through there right now. Yeah, I think that's I think that's all part of the you know the the, the setup and the recovery. And I think we can get more demand, but obviously I don't know that we can get more supply through, which is exactly your point. Uh, but I, I do think that, you know, we will get back to a more normal basis. You know, every day that goes by, we get back to some more normalcy. We'll get the Packers operating in full. We'll get everything operating in full. And I think that it bodes well for a big year, especially through the summer. I think it's going to be a, a dramatic grilling season. And I think we're going to see a, a huge demand. And, and I, to me, I look for much higher prices going forward. I, I think there's a lot of good to believe in what's going to happen here. But again, little pullbacks are not much of a concern in the big picture because overall, you know, that's part of just markets in general and trading in general. And we had... We do have to keep in mind, I, I guess, just as a cautionary note, we had USDA with their export sales number last week, and there was that big faux pas in that uh, beef export sale. Uh, and everybody knows they have to make an adjustment coming up this week. I didn't know if that would throw a monkey wrench into things. I, I guess everybody fully anticipates that, uh, that that will lead to a net subtraction off of the total this week. But uh, just wanted everybody to be prepared for that. What do you see happening on the beef and pork exports? Do you think they'll pick back up or not? Oh, I definitely think they're going to pick back up, Marlon. I think, again, you know, we still have many areas of the world that are still struggling and we're not participating yet. So, again, I think as we see more resolution and as we see more countries become into more full operation, I think that only leads to more exports and bigger and bigger sales which which I think is going, I, I think we're going to have a very busy time this year for farmers and not a sad busy. I think it's going to be very happy because <laughs> I think we're going to be have a, a monster year pretty much across the board. And I think things look very good as long as we can keep the economy open and keeping it running and continue to narrow down these these restrictions, which uh, in Nevada, they're off 100 percent June 1. All right. Thanks so much for talking with us. And uh, Todd, get the grill ready. We'll all be at it. Uh, uh, I got it up, babe. Thank you, Marlon. <laughs> yes. Good to talk with you again. Todd Bubba Horowitz of BubbaTrading.com speaking to us from Las Vegas today. Janet, back to you.